Hey everybody, Sean from The Good Dog. Um, we behind the camera, and we've got Miss Penny over here. Um, the first time you saw this girl, you probably saw her uh, over there um, doing some pretty good bite attempts at me um, when she was dropped off at her uh, drop-off session. And um, then we showed a little bit of a video today with Henri uh, taking her out for a walk. There's some questions about muzzle stuff, and um, I think what I think I think she wore the muzzle for two days um, handling because she was still pretty dodgy a um, lot of like I like I said in the description hard eyes a lot of stuff like that so she came in like guns a blazing and so muzzle was on um, Baskerville so she could uh, drink eat and do all that stuff um, and then we got the muzzle off and so she's been luckily very accommodating about us putting it on when we need to gear up with the next stuff you know putting the collars on and taking them off so she's been good with that so that's all great um, but I just want to demo a little bit of some of the work here as we're in progress or in the process everybody likes to see kind of in process stuff so what you're gonna see right now is her kind of like really in baby steps so she's not gonna look like super happy she's not gonna look super relaxed, she's not gonna look super perfect, she's going to probably make mistakes, she's probably going to look stressed, she's probably gonna look anxious and worried, and and that's kind of the process, right? So don't expect to see her be like, but if you guys remember, when we were, when we were dealing with Teddy, we had the same situation, right? And so you got to watch Teddy go through the process, and, and if you've watched Zoe, Zoe's also, <laughs> excuse me, also going, also gone through the process of being like shut down, fearful, dangerous, not in a good space, and then slowly kind of arcing up. And that's really kind of how the process works. So you can't be too uptight or too worried or too like, wow, that dog doesn't look good. Yeah, the dog doesn't look good because the dog's like transitioning out of being a mess, being dangerous, being in a bad space. So part of the dog training process is being patient and knowing that it really is an arc and I always equate it to like people going through therapy and, and therapy is not uh, just a nice easy thing that you step into, work out all your problems and then like you're cool. It's messy, it's hard, it's rough, it's emotionally draining, you're processing and you know like going through stuff. Uh, dog training is a lot like that for dogs. So with all of that said, I'm gonna do a little bit of work with her. Uh, she's on e-collar. She, uh, came in knowing a lot of commands already. We've paired stuff with the e-collar, so she's in a good spot. Um, we've done work prior with the muzzle on um, around here. Have we done work with her without the muzzle? Or was, was the muzzle on when I was doing, I can't recall. It was mu muzzle on. Muzzle on? Yeah. Okay, so we, so we put the muzzle on for the last time that I worked with her. Um, but this one's sans muzzle, and she's doing pretty good, but you'll see her kind of vacillate. You see her like, You'll see some stress stuff and things like that, but be patient, hold on, and know that there is a light at the end of the tunnel, and that in another few days, fingers crossed, hopefully me and this girl will be really good buddies, and hopefully she'll be good buddies with everybody. So, let's check it out. see like instead of that like really strong-minded like nasty dog that we had now we're seeing this concerned dog right sounds are concerning her she's kind of like glancing around like even like the eye contact now is softer we don't have the same hard eye contact but it now it's worried eye contact she's like crap I don't know what to do I'm transitioning it's like we got you we know you're transitioning we'll help you out come place good sit so I've been going through with place stuff, doing sit and down. Typically I just start really trying to move to down straight away, and she's kind of auto downing now, which is gonna be something that I wanted to do anyways. But initially, at the beginning of the session, I was using every opportunity, because she was actually taking food from, from my hand, so I was using, a, using every opportunity to get a sit, which meant another interaction, a down, another interaction. You'll see me doing a lot of interactions over here. It's not really for the obedience, it's for, I mean, like the obedience is the, is the frosting on the cake, but it's really for the interaction, the engagement, 
changing state of mind about how she feels about me and working with me and things like that. So, and we're just using her regular kibble. It sounds like we have a pair in the other room. Forest. It's baby, it's forest. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, we don't have a pair, we have forest. Um, so I'm using her regular kibble, her regular meal, and she's working for this. And um, as you guys know, when we work with human aggressive dogs, we almost always use food work along with that. We don't always use food stuff with dogs that aren't in this gear, but with dogs like this, it's really a great bridge to change their state of mind and get them into a more trusting, but also looking to you for resources, which changes the psychology of like the suspicion stuff, turns into like, who did you got? And that's a very different dog. So that's part of the reason why we're looking to do more food stuff with her to change that psychological state. Penny, come. Good girl, so no eat calling for that. Sit. Good. Come. Good. So I'm way, that was a really, really bad sequence of dog, dog training commands right there because I was gonna say something else, which is basically you can call it behind my back. But I'm not doing that because I'm hiding it from you guys. Like, I'll put it here. It's just a habit. And uh, <laughs> luckily, she's smarter than me and did a better job than I did giving commands. Come. Come. Sit. Good. That's a better job on my part. Come. Said we've done, she's a smart girl, we've done so much patterning. We've done so much patterning of place, sit, and down that she's starting to go, oh, when I go to place, you're gonna you're going to eventually make me lay down. So she's starting to go through the downs, which is what we want and as the end result, anyways. But at the beginning of this process, we were having her sit and then down, but she's already fading it, which I'm okay with. Nope. So down. No you call her, but it was there in case she didn't listen. Come. Place. Down. So because she's such a smarty pants and has had so much more training and in a lot of ways has a very clear head, um, we can move a little bit faster with some of like, you know, with a lot of dogs, we wouldn't be at this position of like, doing recalls and, and not having to hold the line and not using the e-collar or anything like that. We might have to like hold their hands and kindergarten kind of baby step them a bit more, but she's so smart and she's got previous knowledge of a lot of stuff. So we can kind of like just move along with her at her pace, which is kind of a more um, accelerated pace. Hey, You guys notice no treat bag, right? Let's use my pocket because you know I just can't do the treat bag. Come, sit. And when I said no to you guys, she lay down. I think she thought she was supposed to be laying down. Come, sit, sit, back. transitional period. I'm going to try and keep this short, so I'm going to wrap it up in just a minute, but what's cool for you guys to see is what we do is we differentiate, and this is really the beginning of the process of like starting to make things clear for her about place and, excuse me, bless you. place, thank you, bless you, thank you, <laughs> so place is, good. place is going to be an automatic down, but we're going to have her sit in other places, other contexts, not places, but other spots. So we make sure that we maintain a sit in different places, spots, and then we're going to have her actually placed, and that should be an automatic down. So that's what we're shooting for. That's kind of our promise land. We want to make sure that if all we do are place down, place down, place down, we don't practice sits in other contexts, and we'll eventually kind of fade that sit, and she'll lose it, and she'll just go, I know you're going to have me down, and then she'll down anyways. So 
การมีทีมบอกCould have just used food and lured her on there, but I really want her to like when she's stuck like that. I want her to know that decolor pressure means you do have to get on there. So we're gonna do a real dance here in the next handful of days of like motivation, and excitement, make her happy to do this stuff, but at the same time compliance and non-negotiable stuff. Got to get your behind on there, all that kind of stuff. So. But I think right there, she was just kind of like a little bit stuck. So low level kind of thing, just like reminds her, she's gotta get on there, that's about it. Anyways, no, you see like anxious, she like jumped the gun. So that's gonna be her thing. Sticking is gonna be harder for her than the motion. Some dogs like, I don't wanna recall, I don't wanna do this, I don't wanna do that, I just wanna lay here. Her, she's like, I wanna go, I wanna go, I wanna go, I wanna go. So that'll be something to work on a lot of. But I've also been doing a lot of reps and a lot of recalls, so she's also getting in the mode of like listening to that stuff. Anyways, show them the good dog. Miss Penny, kitty girl. Just the fact that she's taking food from me and not taking digits off, good stuff. So anyways, guys, stay tuned. We'll have more updates with this lady as she kind of moves through the process. And uh, just good for you guys to kind of see how it all unwinds and unwraps. See you guys. 